Greetings everybody, Red Ninja here. Today's tutorial we'll be covering how to model a proxy mesh. Now I know you're wondering, well proxy mesh isn't that the same as a base mesh? In, a, in some sense yeah it is, but I'll show you the difference. As you can see with the proxy mesh, that the limbs aren't connected together, which means sculpting is a no-go. But the, the good options that you get with the proxy mesh is that you can, you can quickly rig it and, you know, do your basic groups, even though none of it's connected, but you have it attached to the bone so you can play around with the structures, see how your characters want to deform ahead of time. And let me just show you real fast of how quick you can create a simple pose with proxy meshes. Uh, let's see if I can do it. Some of you, let's see if somebody can guess what this pose is. I'm not even going to say it. You can leave it in the comment section below. Come on, if this leg can work with me. Uh, there we go. I'm not even trying to put a lot of time into it. Just showing you how quick you can pose your character. I know somebody's coming up with it, even though the hands are a bit off. Little bonus section. <laughs> okay, minus the hands. Hopefully if one of you can come up with that and let me know what type of pose that is, you know, you are awesome if you can name that. But, all right, without further ado, let's get to the tutorial. All right. Okay, so we're gonna delete everything in this scene. And we're gonna import, well, we're gonna drag in a reference image. All right, so we got that in there. Go to our orthographic view, orthographic front view, excuse me. Now we have one image here, but we need two to really complete this. We could use three, but uh, eh, that's not necessary. So we're gonna go into our properties tab within, go to backgrounds, and we're gonna add image, which will be for our second one. So add that. Now we're gonna change their image axes, the first one to the front view, the second one to our right view. Now, if you haven't seen the tutorial on how to do this, in case you're like, well, I don't, I don't really know what I'm looking at, please check out my previous tutorial on using the background uh, images. And I'll have that in the description below and I'll have it linked over here. So, you know, however you wanna navigate to it, but you know, check it out so that you can follow along. All right, without further ado, let's, let's continue on. So we're gonna adjust our front image and since I've done it a good amount of times, I kind of have an idea of some numbers, 1.9. And for the second one, we're just, oops. For the second one, we're just gonna wing it and put it like mm, right along here, right along there. Press N to make more space and press T to minimize your panels. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna think about how we're gonna tackle this. Now, if we do the torso, that eliminates you know, that's the central part for everything. Everything will branch off from the torso. So we're gonna start off with a cube, scale it down, press control one, and what that's gonna do is, that's gonna add a subdivision surface to it in your modifiers tab, you can find it in here as well, subdivision. And now we're just gonna do is, we're just gonna scale it up, tab into edit mode, Press Z for X-ray, and go to our side view. And now we're just gonna modify the shape a bit. Also, we're gonna flatten it, flatten out the bottom. And we're just gonna scale it in a little bit, get these shapes, you know, approximately, you know, close, but you know, we're not trying to spend too much time on it. We're just trying to do it like real fast. 
And I'm just gonna scale this in with the S key. Um, looks like we have too big of a gap, so I'm gonna scale it down a bit more, pull it back. And initially you're using your axes keys, S, uh, I mean, um, when you're moving your uh, vertices with the G key, you can use Z, uh, Y, and the X axes to move your stuff around. All right, so I'm just going to, I know the reference image is quite off, but that's mainly going to happen with a lot of reference images if you try to use, unless you draw it spot on. So now that we just move these vertices over, now we see that we're going off of our center plane, so we got to add a mirror modifier. So we're going to delete these faces. Since I have shortcut keys, I'm going to do that but also you can find it in your modifiers tab as well. So next, uh, let me move this over a bit. Now we're gonna add a loop cut with control R. That's gonna help us line up things for our neck. So we're gonna delete those faces. And now um, select that middle face. Well actually before you do that, just move these up and select that middle one again and just translate it upward and now you have part of your character's neck and then with the other vertices you're just going to shape those accordingly all right and we're just going to move these down a bit go into our side view to see how we're looking make sure everything is looking a-okay you don't want it to be looking you know weird Okay, that's just about right. So I just want to just maneuver some of these over. Okay, so that's good so far. And just going to move that up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try to find where the rib cage is at so that we'll know how it's going to bend the torso. So I just added another loop cut there. That's going to be for our shoulder joint. But for now, we're going to we're gonna we're gonna create in our rib cage, which is under the breast, but we're not gonna model the breast. Because this will make things much easier for us for base mesh. But you would of course want to model the breast once you take that into the second secondary phase of modeling, whereas you know, you're working off of your base mesh and you're trying to put the proportions in the right place. But in this case, since we're approximating things, that's not necessary. So we're just gonna scale this up. Um, looks like we're missing one more edge here. So we're gonna add another one. And we're gonna just pull that out. And now, oh. We gotta modify some of our edges. Um, just in case if this runs off, runs over a little bit, I'm gonna break it, break it up into a, another part. Just in case. And to let you know ahead of time, some parts will be time lapsed because I don't wanna, I don't wanna take too much of your time in terms of just moving these points around. It's a very tedious process quite repetitive if you have like dozens of uh, vertices going on and then you know add the fact that if you've got triangles well sh you won't have a nightmare <laughs> nightmare on m street if it happens to be okay so um we're gonna follow anatomy a little bit and input the spine in there a little bit. Uh, okay, there we go. So now we're just going to, oops, uh, we're just going to translate these back, and uh, there we go. All right, so that's not bad, right? So now we just want to move some of these over, and for our rib cage, it's looking, yeah, I guess it's. That's approximate, so it's not too bad, not too good, so it's in the middle. 
it'll give you it'll you know give you what you want pretty much okay so with that being said we adjusted that um uh we're gonna just move these over okay and now initially you could just end your torso here so that you don't have to worry about much but what we're going to do is we're going to actually input some some actual geometry in there so i'm going to extrude that then we're going to delete and then we're going to well hmm i guess we'll smooth in this out I actually have a shortcut key for my smooth operation. I use the Q key, but you know, shortcuts do save time. So I'm just gonna adjust these a bit. Okay, so we're almost at that time to call this video a close, but we're gonna finish this up really fast. So we just flatten those out to make our life easy. And then we're just gonna rotate these in place. Uh, just move, maneuver these over. Now we're just gonna bring some of this over because we want it to have a solid structure that, you know, it'll look uh, recognizable. It won't be like, like be like, Ugh, what, the, what the heck am I modeling right there? And then we look in the side view, it's like, okay, it's pretty decent. Um, it has a decent circular fashion to it. All right, so there we go. So now we're gonna, well, we're gonna use our knife tool and manually add some cuts in there. I press the Z key so that it cut all the way through on both sides, if you see here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that up there, and hmm, guess we can add one there too. Add a regular loop cut, and we're just gonna shape off the shoulder, and we're gonna move, uh, just move some of these vertices over, and I would say that is pretty much all she wrote. And uh, probably just wanna move this over a bit to like right there. Okay, so I hope y'all have enjoyed that one and we're gonna continue on modeling the rest of this proxy mesh. Hopefully it won't extend out to be a long, a long uh, video series. But if need be, it's just more, more information, more knowledge for y'all to just, you know, intake and use it to your own advantage. And without further ado, I hope you subscribe, uh, comment, and don't forget to name that pose of what you think it is uh, that I created from the beginning and look forward to the next video. All right, have a good one. Peace.